So we're going to make um, a peg apron and I'm going to use two fabrics, one a contrasting fabric. Now for this, I actually, this is a tea towel that I bought in Lisbon a couple of years ago because I liked the fish and I thought, well, this will make a nice apron. So this measures about 28 inches by, bleh, let's have a look, by about 28. So we need a piece roughly that size. And I've also got a fat quarter, uh, an English fat quarter for my contrasting fabric. And what we're going to do is cut two um, semicircles. Now, you can make this apron as big as you like. But to be honest, as it's um, a small apron meant for pegs, I'm going to make it quite small. So I'm going to make the actual apron front um, 17 inches. So I'm going to have it about 17 inches and then I'm going to cut a half circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 17. There. You'll see I'm not doing it at the top of the fabric so I don't need it that big. So and 17 there. And I'm just going to cut first these two pieces into two rectangles. Now, luckily this fabric has a pattern that I can follow, but if you don't have that type of fabric, you can obviously mark it out. So, and across here, just put some pattern weights on this, shouldn't I? Right. Ooh. Okay. Now, because this is a tea towel, it's got an edge um, sewn around these two areas. So I'm going to cut those off. Okay. So, I mean, you won't have to do this if, if you're just using plain fabric. But uh, because I've decided to use this tea towel, I don't want those edges. Okay. So cut those edges off. I've cut quite enough off that one. I'll have a look at the end there. <clears throat> right, so now I've got two rectangles and I want to cut this into a semicircle. So I'm going to fold it in half like this and I'm going to cut a semicircle like that. So I'm just going to go around. Again, you can make it as big or as small as you like. Okay, so now we have two semicircles. Now, because I want this to be the backing fabric, I'll put that to the back, and this is going to be my front fabric. Now, what I'm going to do is cut two pockets either side of this. So again, I'm going to fold it in half. Now they only have to be big enough to put your hand in because in effect this is one huge pocket so i'm going to cut it i mean i've done these these are quite a few times so you might have to work out roughly your sizing but that's that's about it so i've cut off let's just have a look i've cut about five inches by about six and then a curve so we now have the front of our peg apron okay so we've got the two main parts of the peg apron and now we need a strap so I go back to the rest of the fabric from my tea towel now obviously this fabric wasn't very long so what I'm going to do is have to cut a couple of strips and because I don't want a seam line in the middle, I'm going to cut a strip that fits here and then two extra strips for the ties. So, now that fits because it's the same width as where I cut 
before. I'm just going to cut off that uh, seam edge again. Now I'm using cotton fabric for this, uh, but you can use poly cotton or linen or anything really, as long as it's washable because a peg apron really needs to be washable. Now because I want to fold this over at the top, I need to make it about four to five inches long. So I'm going to make it five wide so that I've got plenty of seam allowance. So I'm going to mark it five there and five there. Okay. So this is going to be the front part of the top of the apron. That will be the piece that fixes here. Now I need two ties either side and again I need them five inches wide. Now luckily I've got quite a lot of fabric left on this side so I'm going to use that. I'm going to cut off my edges again because I don't need those. There we are. So let me see, let me put these to one side a minute, folks, and see how wide this is. So, right, yeah, it's almost 10 inches, so this will actually make two straps. So what I'm going to do is cut it off here in a straight line. I'm going to fold it in half and then cut it in half. There we are. You'll see it's not that straight, but I'll sort that bit later. So, there we are. We've got the contrast part of the apron. We've got the front part of the apron. And we've also got the piece for the top here. So we're ready to start sewing. So what I've done is I've done a little rolled hem along the edge of the pocket. So that's all secure now and pressed that. So what I've done is, or I'm showing you what to do, I've stay stitched this to the top just to keep it in position. And I'm going to stay stitch the bottom curve just from here to here to keep the two pieces together while we edge them. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So there we are, it's stay stitched at the bottom, take my pins out and it's stay stitched at the top. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some bias binding and I'm going to go all around the edge, like so. So I'm going to neaten the whole thing with bias binding. Now what I suggest you do is work out how much binding you need. That'll do, that's plenty. Fold it over carefully and iron it so that it's folded, so that you're not struggling to put it around the edge of the curves. Right, so it's all bound around the edge with uh, bias binding. Always check at the back that you've caught the binding in properly. That's why I suggest um, ironing it before you sew it on so that you've got it neat. Right, now we've got to work out the straps. Now, these have all ended up slightly different sizes. <laughs> so I am going to make them all the same width. 
so I'm going to put them together and make them all the same so bear with me yeah you'll see I've got different widths so I'm going to uh, straighten those edges up before I start anything else So what I've done is I've put the middle section to the front of the apron um, and what I've done is I've pinned it and I'm just going to stitch to either side of the apron here. I'm just going to stitch along there. Okay, back in a mo. Right, so once you've stitched that top, just take your pins out and turn it over like this so you can see flatten that there right we are going to want to stitch now these sections from where we stitched up to the apron so we stitched up to there and we're now going to stitch these together along the bottom edge now be careful because it's easy to get caught out here a bit with the fabric moving about so again it might be an idea to iron your fabric in half so that you know where you're going don't stitch this middle section just from the edges along yeah so now we have that piece is open because I only stitched it there and what I've done is folded over and I've stitched those down there, which means we've now got to turn them the right way round. So that takes a few minutes to do, so I'll stop the video while I'm doing that. So once you've turned the straps in the right way, press them flat. You'll need to then finish off the ends, just tuck in and stitch across. Oh, got long threads all over me. So just neaten off the edges at the end like that. And then what we're going to do is this is the bit that we haven't sewn down yet. So I've pressed in here and I've pressed under a hem and I'm now going to stitch along here to fasten everything together. Now you can either hand stitch or machine stitch. And then once you're done, your peg apron is finished. So, so here's the finished article. It's been stitched across the top here. The ends have been stitched just to... And then all you've got to do is put your pegs in this big pocket or peg them on the pocket. And there we are. It's actually a handy little apron for lots of other things as well. Makes a really nice gift, especially in Christmas fabric. Hope you enjoy making.